State changes are things that you can do to change your state of mind. They're things that you can do to uplift and raise your vibration so that you're on point and that you're feeling much better than you were prior to the state changer. So state changes are things that you can do to immediately affect your mental state and to immediately put you in a different state. And we all know that our experience of life is really just a reflection of our state of mind. If we're in a really crummy state of mind, then everywhere we look out is gonna be dismal and dark and, and depressing. But when, when we're in a really uplifted, motivation, motivated state of mind, anything we look out at is like an opportunity to have a lot of fun. Like it's pouring rain out right now. It's so cloudy, I can't see anything except like 10 feet in front of me. It's like the weather is horrendous, as most people would say. But I just went through the state changer process that I'm about to show you right now, and I feel so dang good. I feel so good that it doesn't matter what the weather's like. I was just out in the rain right now doing these state changers. Like the weather was great, I was embracing it. And so I figured I have to share it with you right here and now on camera. Now, I would love to do more videos like this in the future, uh, but if you guys like this one, then let me know and I'll do just that. But for now, this is just the, the uh, beginner's guide to state changers. We're going to go through a 10 minute sequence together. So if you don't have 10 minutes to set aside right now, maybe just put this video on pause and come back when you do have 10 minutes to, to, to do this or add this to your watch later playlist or something. But just watch this video only when you have 10 minutes to actually partake in an activity. If you don't want to partake in an activity right now, go watch another video on YouTube. This video right here and now is for partaking in. I want you guys to take some serious action. Now, you're going to either need a chair that you're comfortably sat on or a floor that you can comfortably sit on and cross your legs. You're going to need arms width space as well. We're going to be using our arms. We're going to be uh, having them out like as wide as we possibly can. So that's important to know. Um, and you're going to need a place where you're undisturbed. Like, it's okay to have background noise happening. That's totally fine. That's totally... That's... Totally okay, no, no worries if, if people are making noise around you, uh, but you don't want to be disturbed. You don't want dogs crawling on you, cats crawling on you, or, or little kids running and grabbing you and calling for your attention. So once you've got your um, area set up, your environment set up, your atmosphere created, then uh, we can get right into this. This is going to be made up, this, this particular sequence is going to be made up of four exercises that we're going to do together. The first exercise is going to be the willpower meditation or the arm hold challenge. It's where you just sit on a chair across the leg or whatever and you have your arms out so that they're your just arms out like this and you want your fingers I'm trying to fit in the screen here fingers to the sky so I'll take my jacket off so you can see more what I'm doing here arms totally straight fingers up to the sky alright none of this business right up like that sound good if you can't do that if it's very uncomfortable for you then at least just go like that but try to feel the stretch in your Forearm right here, feel a stretch here, and maybe even feel some tension on top of your arm as well. It's totally all right. Now, you want the arms as far back as you can, like kind of like behind your head, almost like if you if your eyes are open in front of you, you shouldn't be. I, can't, I currently I can't see my arms right now. In my peripheral version, I cannot see my arms. Now I can see my arms. Now I cannot. Now I can see my arms just barely. They're in my peripheral. Now I can't see my arms. You want your arms in a position where you cannot see them whether your eyes are open or closed. And for this activity, we're gonna be having the arms closed. All right, eyes closed. We're gonna hold that for four minutes, all right? Then immediately after that, we're gonna move on to the next exercise, and it's an exercise in appreciation. We're gonna be saying our thank yous. We're gonna say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for two minutes nonstop. And we're gonna think of someone in our life that we're really thankful for. Think of a few people that we're really grateful for. And we're just gonna express that appreciation. We're gonna. We're going to feel what it feels like to, to be thanking them as if, as if they're here right now and if it's like our last time to ever thank them for something. And it doesn't need to be someone. It, it can be like an animal in your life or it can be like uh, an experience that you're really grateful for or it can be God or it can be nature, what, whatever you like to, to, uh, to show appreciation for. Um, after our two minutes of gratitude, we're going to move on to two minutes of breath work. So the breath work is going to look like this. We're going to be going for about... 30 seconds of just rapid inhalations and then letting the breath go. So like So our focus and the effort is on inhaling as far back as we can, as deeply as we can. Bring the oxygen as far in as we can and letting it go. 
So inhale and let it go. Inhale and let it go. The letting go doesn't require effort. You're not like pushing out. You're not really exhaling. You're not trying to... So it's not like... It's just... So there might be some tension on the inhalation, but then on the exhalation, it's completely relaxed. All right, we're gonna do that for a minute, and then we're gonna exhale everything for about 45 seconds. So we exhale everything, and we hold our bodies with no oxygen in them. So it looks like this. Right, then I had no oxygen in my air, in my body. And then after we exhale everything, we hold that for 45 seconds, then we're just gonna inhale and hold for 15 seconds. So once we've, um, the 45 seconds has come, we go. And we reintroduce a bunch of oxygen back into our body and we just hold that for a short 15 seconds. So that whole sequence of, of breath work right there will take two minutes. Then we're gonna finish off with two minutes of meditation, just sitting either getting cross-legged on the floor or seated on your chair, no worries, wherever you are. And we're just gonna close our eyes, and feel the difference in our mind from eight minutes prior. By the end of this meditation, we'll reach our 10 minutes and you will most likely, I'm not gonna tell you how you're gonna feel, I don't wanna plant any seeds, but you let me know how you feel after these 10 minutes, all right? So this is, this is uh, just a 10 minute routine that you can do any day of the week. I recommend doing it every day of the week, some variation of this but it's really important to make sure you're functioning at an optimal state of mind. And the best time to do something like this would be in the morning. That way you go through the whole day with this optimized state of mind. So without further ado, let's get into this. Now, for this one, you gotta keep the eyes closed, all right? It's, it's just, it takes just as much willpower to hold your arms up as it does to keep your eyes closed. It's gonna be tempting to open your eyes, it's gonna be tempting to peek, but I will let you know when the time is up. You're gonna hear this bell ring. You're gonna hear this sound right here. All right, when you hear that sound, you're gonna bring the arms up, put them together like this position. All right, so, you, so your arms are like this for four minutes and then you go butter, 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 bing, 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 bing. Bring them up and bring them down and we're gonna immediately begin our thank yous, our thank you, thank you, thank yous. All right, here we go. I'll guide you through this whole thing. Just a quick recap, the arm hold for four minutes, thank you, thank you, thank yous for two minutes, the breath work for two minutes, and meditation for two minutes. That creates a 10 minute sequence. Here we go. Remember, keep the arms back, keep the fingers up, all right? I don't wanna see any of this funny business. Straight on back, here we go. Three, two, one. Eyes closed, stay quiet, and focus on your breath. Do what you can to just focus on your breath. If it helps, you might want to count your breaths up to 10. When you get to 10, start back at 1. The reason I like to do this exercise is because I know if I can get through this, I can get through anything. If you're feeling pain in the arms, if you're struggling, just know that everyone goes through this. It's completely normal. Just keep pushing through and know that you will succeed. Keep your arms straight and bring them up if you feel them falling down. Bring your attention back to your breath if you ever find your mind wandering.
the time is running out. You're getting closer and closer to the end with every second that goes by. If the pain in your arms is becoming extreme, be curious and look into that. Give whatever pain you're feeling a color. Is it green, purple, red, blue, orange? Give it a shape as well. Is it a triangle, diamond, rectangle, circle? Now that you've acknowledged the pain, bring your attention back to your breath and hold it there for the remainder. You're almost there now. The finish line is in sight. Bring the arms up, bring the arms up, and Let's say thanks. Oh, thank you, 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 thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, 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 thank you. Thank you, 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 <laughs> thank you, 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 thank you. Thank you, 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 thank you. Wow, all right guys, time for some breath work. Let's lower the ISO here, get a little bright. All right, time for some breath work, here we go. So again, just focus on the inhalation, focus on the and let it exhale on its own. We're just gonna do that for one minute. All right, and then at the end of the minute, when you hear the timer go, when you hear the sound, that's when you exhale everything, and you just hold that emptiness for 45 seconds, all right? Here we go. One minute of inhalations. If you're feeling yourself getting lightheaded or tingly at all, 
just know that it's completely normal and that's actually what you're going for. The purpose of this is to energize yourself, is to charge yourself up. Just push through it a little longer. It's only going to be a few more seconds here. Now exhale absolutely everything and let your body just sit for 45 seconds with no oxygen in your body. Calm your mind down, just like you were doing with the arm hold exercise. Focus on one place in your body and just let your mind and attention rest on that. Become as calm as you possibly can. In five seconds, you're going to inhale everything. Three, two, one, big inhalation. Now you're going to hold this for 15 seconds. Now we're going to meditate for two minutes. If you've never meditated before, no worries. Just close your eyes and put all of your attention on your nostrils, focusing on the breath coming in and the breath leaving the body. Just bring your attention to your chest now and feel your chest rise with every inhalation and fall and relax with every exhalation. And don't force the breath at all. Just become aware of it. Let the body breathe. Notice if your breaths are long and deep or short and shallow. And again, not trying to change the breath at all. Just being aware of how it's breathing. And if your mind wanders or you get distracted, just bring it back to the breath. Now just for a moment, letting go of any focus, letting the mind be completely free. If it wants to think, let it think. If it wants to be busy, let it be busy. And whenever you're ready, in your own time, you can just slowly open your eyes again. That's it, guys. Thanks for joining me. Thank you so much for joining me. Wow. The way I feel now, compared to 10 minutes ago, it's very different, very different. The meditation at the end was really nice for me. Uh, now, you can use any of these state changers individually like you can do the arm hold one individually you can do the gratitude thank you thank you thank yous individually you can do the breath work individually and you can do the meditation of course on its own or you can use them in combination with one another and when you do that then they each have their own 
they, the one that follows has a slightly different effect than it would if you had just gone into it with a you know, normal, normal state of mind. Um, so you play around with different combinations. I like to do different sequences like this. And uh, I like to you know, do them at different times of the day. I love to do my meditation in the morning. And I love to do some breath work in the morning. And then in the evening, I like to do another meditation, maybe a different type, maybe a guided meditation in the evening. Um, and then I also like to do the arm hold one in the morning as well. Um, and then the, the breath work I also like to do while I'm walking. If I'm walking to the grocery store, I'm walking to the gym, walking home from the gym, I'll do some breath work, um, slightly different variations. But they all work. They're all guaranteed. That's the thing about these things. And th these are just, this was just like, you know, four examples of state changers. There's like, dozens of state changes that you can do and there's different methods and styles and variations that you can do with them but they all work that's the thing they all work you don't do these this 10 minute combination like we just did and come out of it feeling crummy like it just doesn't work like that but there are things that you can do every day that guarantee that you feel crummy there are things that we do and I do personally that you know we only realize it makes us feel crummy in hindsight and for some reason we want to do it even in advance, like we're like, oh, I want to check notifications on my phone 10 times, 15 times, 20 times a day. Even though I know it can make me feel empty, it can make me feel a bit hollow, it can make me feel a bit deflated, um, it can just, you know, keep me a bit on edge or whatever. Like, there's no point in checking notifications so many times throughout the day, but that's just something that I'm personally working on at this moment, and um, I, I disable notifications on my phone so I don't get pop ups, but. You know, there's little things like that, or like maybe arguing with someone. We know we don't feel good when we argue, but we do it anyway because we might think we'll, we'll get this feeling of superiority or something. Um, another thing we might do is stay up late watching TV or watching just stupid stuff on the computer or whatever. Another thing we might do is just scroll through Facebook. You know, we never feel amazing after scrolling through Facebook, so why do we do it? I don't know. I think we just we haven't associated associated that activity yet with enough um, you know discomfort in our lives. But when you start associating these particular state changes with strong pleasure like we feel right now perhaps then you're more likely to do them out of habit each day uh, so just keep that in mind guys that there are things that you can do every day that guarantee that you feel good and there are things that you can do every day that guarantee you feel like crap and it's up to you to decide it's up to you to create habits if you want to um, feel better and better and better every single day there's no limit to how good you can feel there's no limit to how good you can feel there's a limit to how crummy you can feel, I guess. You can feel so crummy that you want to commit suicide. You want to end your life. That's like pretty much as low as you go. You end your life. As far as feeling good goes, oh man. Yeah. As far as feeling good goes, you just, um, can, the, it's infinite, 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 infinite. And I guess, I, who, who am I to say how low you can go? Maybe maybe there's lower than depression. Maybe, maybe there's lower than suicide. Maybe it's living with ongoing depression. Maybe it's living with ongoing pain and suffering emotionally. Um, yeah, who am I to say how low you can go? But... I think there's a limit to how low you can go. I think it's called rock bottom for most people. Dark, dark place. Uh, but as far as how good you can feel, man, the, the sky is not even the limit. The sky is just a view. It's infinite. We can, we can rise, raise our vibrations infinitely high. And these state changers are just um, some activities that we can do to help propel us in that upward direction. So thanks so much, guys. If you want more state changer videos and you want to do them with me like this, let me know. Give this video a thumbs up if you watch it this far. And uh, I would love, love, love some feedback or suggestions or ideas or just some insights that you gained during this um, sequence that we just did. If you could post in the comments, let me know some ideas you have or whatever, then that'd be great. I rarely talk about this the sort of thing with other people because most people never want to stick their arms out like that. Uh, and most people don't have time to meditate, whatever. Um, but if you're the type of person who just did that with me and you want to do more of that, please give me some feedback, give me some suggestions in the comments. I'd love that. And uh, yeah, guys, I'm just going to keep bringing you the best videos I can. So stay subscribed and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.